Welcome to the Vision Campus. In a vision system, lenses play a key role in image quality. A good primary image is the precondition for high quality and stable image evaluation. Because software can't reliably evaluate an image that is not captured correctly. High quality lenses are characterized by high resolution, low image errors and little shading. But of course, they also have a higher price. The challenge when choosing a lens for your vision system is to correctly balance between the required imaging performance for the task and the price. To make your selection easier, we will now walk you through a series of important questions you should ask to find the ideal lens for your machine vision application. Does your lens have the same mount as your camera? Well, first of all, the lens has to fit on the camera. For this, you need the right mount. C, C, S, S and F mounts are common for industrial cameras. C, C, S and S mounts have a standardized thread. The F mount has a bayonet system, as you have already encountered with your SLR camera. Does the diameter of the image circle match the sensor size? The required image circle is determined by the size or diagonal of the sensor. A lens selected to match the sensor size ensures that the scene to be captured is optimally imaged on the sensor surface. If the image circle for the lens and the sensor is the same, it minimizes unwanted distortions and ensures homogeneous illumination from the center of the image up to the edge. For a two-thirds sensor, a two-third lens should be used. Since the maximum image circle is limited by the sensor size, larger and thus usually more expensive lenses do not add any value, as long as the image quality of the lens is consistently high all the way to the edge. Does the focal length fit the sensor size, the working distance and the desired image area of your application? Each lens has an optimal working distance. If the lens is positioned at this distance from the object to be captured or the scene to be observed, the maximum image sharpness is achieved. The size of the object, that is the size of the field of view to be captured and evaluated by the camera, is also important for the choice of the lens. The field of view, the working distance and the sensor size yield the focal length f of the lens to be selected, given in millimeter. For industrial cameras, fixed focal length lenses are preferred, as they are mechanically more stable. If the calculated value for the focal length doesn't match any available lens, it is recommended to choose the next smaller focal length. As a side effect, this results in a slightly larger field of view. What resolution do you really need in your application? Once the parameters have been set for your application, it is very difficult to change them later. Upfront planning for the image acquisition and exact calculation are therefore crucial for the lasting performance of the vision system. The pixel size also influences the choice of the lens. It varies depending on the chosen sensor. If you want to achieve the maximum resolution of the camera, make sure that the nominal pixel size of the lens is not larger than the pixel size of the sensor. However, it is often worthwhile to evaluate the minimum resolution that is really needed in the application, as it has a significant impact on the cost of the lens. Does the aperture match the lighting conditions and the required depth of field? The aperture of a lens will determine how much light will reach the sensor and is given by the F number. The larger this number, the smaller the aperture and the less light comes through the lens. In this case, sufficient lighting is mandatory in the vision system. However, a closed aperture can offer several advantages for the system. The smaller the aperture, the greater the depth of field and the smaller the image errors. 
For each lens, there is an aperture setting at which the image is optimally sharp. Many data sheets show the optimum sharpness of a lens with the aperture slightly closed. Well, this was only a small insight into the world of lenses. But if all these questions are answered, you are well on the way to find the right lens for your application. Of course, it is always a good idea to seek further advice from experts. Thanks for watching.